Bloody hell, are we still doing these? It's time for another Gubbins box, and this month... Th actually, it seems to have come around sooner this month than usual. Hmm, that's weird. Is that all in my head, or did they send it earlier? I don't know, and nobody cares. Yep, the theme this month is Heroes. Again! Yes, they've done Heroes before, but let's face it, every box has got bloody superhero stuff in anyway. So who gives a monkey's chuff? And I must say, this time the box is... Uh, I think it's the biggest physical box we've had, and it's also the heaviest. Um, I am intrigued to see what's inside. I have no idea why I did that. I've never run out of breath. Didn't do it very well either. Couldn't make a singer. It was a bit wobbly, wasn't it? Anyway, so let's flip it open and see what lurks. Flip me inside out! Flip yourself inside out, you lazy piece of shit. Right. It's... good god. Oh, it's one of... oh no, it isn't! Ooh! <laughs> a million emotions in a fraction of a second there. I thought it was going to be one of those annoying semi-generic figures, but no, this is like a really nice little statue. What is the deal, guys? Batman classic TV series. Oh man, I did love that. Um, I was going to say back in the 60s, you know, when I wasn't born. But uh, they used to repeat it all the frickin' time when I was young. Um, I don't know if it really stands up that well these days, but it's campy and it's fun and it's a good laugh. And hmm, now looking at it, I'm quite disappointed that it's like this bloody super deformed thing where they've got big heads, which I don't personally like very much. Oh, because it makes all the characters look like babies and it creeps me out. I don't know. Oh, I could have also had the animated series Superman, the animated series Catwoman. Get other great. Mm, or do we all get Batman? This is an advert for others. I don't know and I don't care. Anyway, this looks like a very nice thing in and of itself. The sort of thing they usually sell for more than the cost of the bloody loot crate, I Right. Oh, there's a pen. A free pen, so you can draw eyes on him and write the word bum on his tits. Fantastic. Come on. Oh god, it's escaped. Uh, that's... yeah, that's really nicely painted. Um, it's very solid. It's nicely put together. My only complaint is that the Batarang he's holding, since they've done it in a silver colour... Ooh, it's like a, a, it's not silver, it's grey, and B, the paint's is a bit off on that, actually. It, instead of looking like a Batarang, it looks like he's holding a potato peeling knife. Spud knife. Yes. Right, and what is the deal here? There is a, uh, some sort of kapow thing that sits in the background. Oh. Apologies to uh, anyone using headphones there. So that sits on there. And there we go. Kapow. So what's the pen for? What do we run? Ah, uh, no? Hmm. What's the deal? Ah, right. I see. There's some sort of stickery thing going on. You can peel off the kapow and write on your own ones, like Kerf Flumple, and uh, Blig Flig Blib Blib, and prut, prut, which is a particularly difficult one to spell. Why isn't this bloody thing coming off? Is it because I don't hate it enough? Because I must tell you, I'm hating it more as time is going on. Ah, yep, yeah, that was it. Right. Ooh, even your own Q-Pop branded, <laughs> branded pen. Marvellous. So now we can write little uh, things for Batman to say on it. Um. Let's do his famous catchphrase, eggs are poison. There we are. The egg marketing board weeps, but Batman is strong in his beliefs. Well, that's really genuinely very nice. I like the pose, I like everything about it, other than the fact it's got the giant bloody head thing going on, which is such a shame, because it's... Uh, I don't know. But that's a personal thing, it's actually a very good item, but uh, you'll probably like. Look, it's even got like a nice uh, griffin head thing going on from where he is in old city of Gotham. Ah. It's really annoying. I really wish I liked it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> ah, well, I've got friends who will uh, like that a lot when I throw it at through the windows of their cars. Right, next up, it's a poster. A poster with the moster, and it's a rolled one, which I do prefer, because you don't get the old crease lines in it. Um, and it is... She Can Do It! Ah, a Rosie the Riveter homage with the, the Wondrous Woman on it. Oh, and they've actually put Wonder Woman in the corner, which spoils it slightly, because we all know it's bloody Wonder Woman. Come on now. We wouldn't be putting on our walls if not, would we? Yep, so there we are. A bit of uh, 1940s propaganda repurposed to sell superhero stuff in the modern day and age, and it's done really nicely. Really nice bit of art there. It looks like good fun, and yeah. A Rosie the River to homage. What more do you want? That's genuinely really nice. Um, it's oddly square. 
can't think of a frame I can put it in. Probably a square one I'd have to buy. But yeah, that's nice, like that. Good work so far, lads. Next up, a multi tool. I have seen these in the shops and remember thinking that they were bloody... I think I saw it in game, of all places, actually. I remember thinking they were bloody expensive. Um, but there we are, we've now got one in here, so well done. Crosshead screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, keychain bottle opener, and it's a proper solid bit of metal. You could really fuck somebody up with this. Dan! Dan! Oh shit, he's not here, is he? Oh, oh well. Um, yeah, you can open your bottles, you can do up small screws that um, don't know, have very well-defined heads, and other screws with simple heads, or you can throw it at people and get arrested. It's entirely up to you. It's clearly... It's, it's ridiculous to say that this is a keychain, though. Um, how could this possibly be a keyring? I mean, yeah, you've got the thing to put your keys on. You're going to stick that in your pocket, a gigantic bit of jagged metal with sharp fucking screwdrivers on the end. Why don't you just carve a bloody hole in your leg with a small knife? Bloody ridiculous. But anyway, the actual thing itself is genuinely very nice. It's solid as hell. Uh, it looks the part, and yeah, what more do you bloody want? It's got a really solid um, keyring thing, and actually, I might steal that off. I shall genuinely give that to Dan, actually, because he does love some Batman, bless him. Let's put that over there and see what is next. It's a sweat band, a Legend of Zelda sweat band. Ooh, the old uh, Triforce in the pretty logo there. Hmm, that's really nice, actually. There we are. I shall wear it in all future. No, I fucking won't. But it's extremely nice. Proper, high-quality, thick thing. Man, they have really pulled their um, heads out of their asses from the uh, previous crap ones they were doing. It was good last month. This month is bloody fantastic so far. Um, genuinely impressed. Um, that's nice. I shall give this to a runner. The athletic kind, not the uh, ones who assist on film sets. And, oh, for fuck's sake. Vanilla air freshener. One piece! Yeah, good, because, you know, I wanted 50. Um, so it's Star Trek, and it's the old uh, live long and prosper in the Force Luke thing that uh, Mr. Spock does. <sighs> Seriously, lads. I mean, this is like, it's proper sub pants. Do you remember, actually, that um, fucking Avengers air freshener they gave us in a box a while ago, and I said it was like something from Poundland? They had them in Poundland recently, except you get two for a pound. So I, just, I really dislike this stuff. It just makes the whole thing seem cheaper than it actually is. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's not heavily branded or something. And why isn't the back of the hand the back of a hand? He's got two palms. It's weird. <sighs> just don't put this shit in, guys. Just It would be better to not have this than to have something that looks ultra fucking cheap. Does it at least smell of vanilla? Hang on. It smells a fucking disappointment. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it does smell very vanilla-y. Well, it's probably an effective air freshener if you want that dangling from your bloody rearview mirror in your car so you get it stuck in your eye or whatever. I don't get it. Mm, very, very poor. It's got the old Mr. Spock thing going on. Is it a tribute to Leonard Nimoy, perhaps, who died relatively recently? Or is it a cynical attempt to cash in on his death? Well, the answer, I think we all know, is neither of those things. It's just something they happen to have that they've put in a loop grate. But, um... Yeah, that's shit. Don't do it again. Slaps. And lastly, oh god, I was expecting something um, small. It's a proper book. Regrettable. The League of Regrettable Superheroes. The Loot Crate Edition. Now I'm worried it's not as big as the full edition. How does it differ from the normal edition? See, that does worry me. So here's loads of superheroes I've never heard of. The Floating Eye. Bloke Who's Menaced by Shadows. Spear Dodge Woman. Terry Thomas's thin-headed brother. Oh, fuck, Phantoma! I know of her. She's from Fletcher... Oh, man. If you've never heard of Fletcher Hanks, stop watching this video and Google Fletcher Hanks. amazing. He's one of the first comic books... In fact, I think Phantoma, technically, is the first ever superheroine um, in any sort of media, to my knowledge. And it's fucking insane. Um, it was uh, Harry Partridge introduced me to um, the whole Fletcher Hanks thing. He had a book about it. And I think the books are now out of print, which is fucking tragic, if so. But, my God, uh, it's unbelievable. Basically, Hanks was like... Well, he was a complete piece of shit, to be honest with you. He's a really dreadful person. Um, sort of violent, nasty, didn't look after his kids, etc., etc. And he went off to draw these bizarre fucking comic strips and they're so weird they're all like really perverse um revenge fantasies his main character is somebody called stardust the super wizard i shit you not and he's got completely non-defined powers he's basically god he's completely invulnerable nothing ever even vaguely threatens him and he can do anything and has has these sort of really perverse mystical fucking revenges on all the um Character oh god, seriously, go Google this stuff. I will put it in the link. 
um, below, actually. Uh, yeah, seriously, go and look. It's fucking amazing. Phantomar is just like some woman who flies around the jungle and is basically the same as Stardust, except a woman, and when she does magic stuff, her head turns into a skull. Anyway, I've gone off on a total freaking um, uh, tangent there. Sorry, I'm still thinking about Fletcher Hacks. Right, let's get back into this then. Oh, yeah. Mr. Oh, yeah, good bit of write-up. Oh, I like this. In fact, you could say it's not entirely dissimilar to the book that I am currently writing. <coughs> Called Terrible Old Games You've Probably Never Heard Of. Plug over. Yeah, seriously, this uh, I'm going to genuinely enjoy reading this, I think. Although I'm now going to have to look it up and see if this is in fact different from the um, main retail version. Is it smaller or something? I don't know. I hope not, because that looks fucking great. And I'm going to be honest, if I'd known this book existed beforehand, I would probably have bought it myself. So there we are, that's made up for my personal Batman disappointment. Next up is Brawlhalla. It's like a man wearing a wolf pelt, because yes, right, what's in the back? Doesn't oh, it is a code. I'm glad I lifted it off. White Fang Nash. White Fang Nash, Legend Skin, Long Tooth Spear Skin, Howling Skull Hammer Skin, Nash Legend Unlock, and a full version of the new platform fighter. Brawlhalla, a free-to-play platform brawler where, well, if it's free-to-play, then it uh, doesn't really matter, does it? Um, well, fuck it. Have that, then. I'll probably never have time to get around to playing it anyway. Looks like something that's very heavily inspired by Super Smash Bros. Brawl and all that stuff. Hmm. Well, there we are. There's the uh, URL if you want to check it out, and there's a code to get the stuff for free if you happen to be the first one. Good luck with that. And all that remorse no... Oh. I was going to say there's no bloody badge, but there is. It's a little Batman, which would be quite a nifty badge if it wasn't orange around the outside and saying bloody Loot Crate Heroes 2 on it. Why? Why? Next up, the book, which I really don't give a monkey's toss around. There we are, let's put you off of your eating. Um, the Death of Superman Lives, what happened? Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing that documentary. Um, yeah, about the uh, aborted Nicolas Cage Superman flick. Yeah, and here's pictures of things that they've physically given you in the box. I don't bloody understand it. Right, there we go. And all that's left now is the box itself that I need to apparently flip inside out. Bollocks. Let's jump cut. It is a Gotham City building of sorts. Look, leet. Haha, I remember when that was a thing too. So there's everyone looking worried and looking up, presumably because you're supposed to put your Batman thing on the roof. Um, on this one, we've got a Joker on Harley, graffiti, we've got people saying, Go Batman. Look how excited they are. Here's a dog near a box. It's got all your favourites. There's a man looking at his phone and sticking his feet in front of his computer. There's a cat. There's some more Joker graffiti and some more. And... The penguin apparently lives here, because it's full of penguins and it's got his top hat and his monocle in it. Well, fair enough. That's what the top looks like. Hooray! And the bottom doesn't really look like anything, because you ain't going to see it. Well, that's a nice thing to do with the box. Um, do you know, I might actually keep it like that and use it to keep Batman in. Oh wait, I haven't got many. But, let's get that back, because it is a nice thing. So, in conclusion then, um, you've got some items for a free game, which doesn't seem very exciting. Frankly, you've got the... Rather beautiful Batman statuette. If you're into that aesthetic, that will, well, that will blow your legs off. Not literally. That is not a disclaimer. Um, you've got your Batman multi-tool for poking holes in your own leg or actually using more carefully. You've got the rather nice wristband, you've got the nice poster, and you've got the, well, badge and that absolutely bloody bullshit air freshener thing. And this rather nifty book, which I'm super excited about. Well, I was super excited about it, but I looked it up. And the version you can buy, um, which incidentally you can't find under a tenner, uh, unfortunately has twice as many pages. I'm like, oh, that's a real shame. I wonder why they did that. Did they do it? Because they're not kind of advertising the full version on it that I can see. Unless it's inside or something. Um, no, it sort of looks fairly complete. But it's coming in at 128 pages, and on Amazon it says it's um, about 256. I can only imagine they had to cut pages so, so it's cheaper to send or something, I genuinely don't know. Well, that's a shame, because now I'm going to have to go and buy the full one, aren't I? Damn you, Lord Great. But yeah, if you just want something to flick through and not have the complete experience, then this is the thing. It's still a very nice thing to get in the old loot crate, which is what matters, I suppose. I've also just noticed there's one called Dr. Hormone, which is... 
oh man, I may have to start reading this and then, uh, yeah, give it to the old charity shop when the full version arrives. Right, so that's that then for another month. My god, these are getting better. I'm genuinely impressed. Well done, lads. Have a round of applause. Only a small round of applause, though. I haven't forgotten that fucking air freshener. Subscribe for more. Bookie, bookie.